Do you think you could just forget about me? Hmm? Do you think you can just recruit a newcomer along and think that no one will ever notice that I have just been absent? Hmm? Well then, it seems like I need to teach you a lesson, boys. Time for the world to hear of a week of me. <laughs> God dang, that intro's awesome. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day... Oh, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Why did I s decide to just make a week of videos? I don't know. Um, yeah. And this is Devil's Attorney. Um, uh, yeah. You want to know what Devil's Attorney is? Let's play Devil's Attorney, and this time I'm going to actually have the tutorial on, because last time I tried to explain this to someone, I flunked up. So, here we go. Huh. So much for the friggin' tutorial. Yeah. This is the hub screen. One leads to your apartment. Which is a... Cope. And the other leads to your office. Which is where we go to court. And the meat of the game begins. And the tutorial is nowhere to be seen. Alrighty, so this is the main screen of the game. On your left, um, on your right, you have all your opponents. In the red box is go away. <laughs> In the red box is their credibility. Their credibility being their health bar essentially, and inside. The bigger of the two rectangles is a description on any damage they can do, or, in Roger Mansell's case, the special ability he has. On the left is basically all the stuff I can do, with the top being my credibility, or case strength, as it's described for some reason. So... Let's do something. Uh, let's cross-examine the witness. That was easy. And now we're left with our evidence. So, first, let's tamper with it. That, basically those in orange boxes like here tamper with evidence. Yeah, it does, like, reduces the damage of an incoming item, while as things in purple, like analysis, damages their credibility. Unless it's analysis, which has a 50-50 chance in doing any damage. 
in one round. And yeah, that's that's the game in a nutshell. Oh, I forgot. Whenever you actually win a case and have money as displayed here in blue, you can buy stuff. Like the Wall of Success. Or the Forest Glade. Let's get the Forest Glade. And you'll notice up there that I just got a new skill. How do I know that? Well, because that thing showed me, and this. Yes, much like most modern games, there's RPG elements. In this case, you have to level up one of three attributes, materialism, decadence, and vanity. If you don't know what those three mean, Google it, I'm not here to tell you. And as you get further up, you get more and more different things, such as expert analysis here. Which does 2 to 4 damage for evidence to evidence material. That would be evidence rather than people. Objection. Incapacitates opponents in one turn, used once per case. And so on and so on and so on and so on and so on. If you ever get the impression that our protagonist is a... Uh, not entirely legal person... Congratulations, you have a working brain, I suppose. So, we have three cases here to choose from. Jimmy, Woo, uh, Jimmy Woo's case, Billy Rodriguez's, and Ricky Moore's. Mm, let's go with... Oh no, it's Ricky Moore. Uh, didn't I say Ricky... Oh, who cares? Let's go with Ricky's. And we have a new prosecutor, Mike Spencer. Once again, this guy doesn't actually do any direct damage, but he benefits by giving a damage boost to other witnesses. So when it comes to their turn, they're going to hit hard. So let's try and deal with that, shall we? Mm. Let's cross-examine this witness. Since he deals the most damage, and yeah. Easy disposal. Hmm, mm, tempting, tempting, tempting. What do I do? What do I do? Let's try and cross examine this guy. Ooh, that was easy. <laughs> oh, I lucked out there. Yep. Yeah, this uh, this game can uh, is generally quite humorous, and a f bit of its humor is mixed in with like some clever writing, which becomes evident in the intros, like intros to trials, and another bit is from the references to movies that they make, movies and films. I mean, movies and books and stuff. You'll discover it, it when. Okay, uh, what's the best way to put it? You get a character who looks rather suspectly like Arnold Schwarzenegger, has like a re uh, like a red laser be uh, thing that can be seen through his sunglasses, and he's looking for a girl named Sarah. If you need me to explain to you why that's uh, uh, what that's a reference to, you. Please hand in your movie buff card, you lose. And on to our next prosecutor.
Zing. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay, we have yet yeah, another bit of, uh, another witness and evidence. But most importantly is that we have the prosecutor. Because Margaret Jones, unlike her two associates prior, actually can do damage to your credibility. Fortunately, we can reduce her damage with a simple cross-examination, since her damage output is equal to her credibility. And since we reduce that to two, she will only do two damage. And yeah, there we go. Oh, I still have two action points. Um, what can I do? What can I do? Uh, let's mesmerize the prosecution. And, ah, what the heck, let's mesmerize her as well. Then, it's the opposing team's turn. But, because I reduced all their... Because I reduced all of their damage, they do absolutely nothing. And that's nasty. So, let's interrogate her and cross examine the other witness. Hmm, wish I did more damage there. Ah, tamper with evidence again. Ah, dang, I'm gonna get damaged now. Yeah. As you may have guessed, like up there, the little the little number up there, the number four, is basically my credibility, and when that hits zero, my client is guilty. Boom. And we're done. And as you may have guessed, like, during that round, I had a thing saying last round for bonus that explains for itself, like, if you do complete each task in a number of rounds, you gain bonus money. And who doesn't like more money? Especially if they're a lawyer. What lawyer doesn't like more money? Yeah. As you may have guessed, Max McMahon doesn't have good fashion taste. So let's deal with one more case. If I need to emphasize, yeah, Max McMahon is not a guy to look up to. If you thought that Phoenix Wright was in any way a corrupt attorney, then, well, you clearly have not seen Max McMahon. Let's put it this way, one of the options they're giving uh, that they would give me if I had evidence would be tamper with evidence. And it only gets worse as time goes on. Ah, uh, let's see, what should I be doing? Oh yeah, explaining Jack's power. Uh, Jack also does damage, much like Margaret, but he has a different ability. He gains damage output for each turn. Translation, get rid of Jack ASAP. If you can. Dang it, this is going to hurt. Uh, 
and as you can see here, he gained some. Uh, he gained damage this turn. So I'll use Epic Speech, Eagle Boost, and I will. Dang, what should I do? Cross examine Jack. It's a bit overkill, but <laughs> a bit. Jesus, that was way too much overkill. And I lost my bonus because I didn't finish everyone off on this turn. Yeah, well. See, no money for bonus. I could always replay the case, but to be honest, I don't feel like it. Once I buy one more thing from Decadence... <laughs> wow, I can't actually buy something. Never mind, I guess I'm going to have to take another case. Ah, it has to be from Jack, didn't it? Okay. Here's something interesting. You may notice that there are no witnesses, but there is a certain gentleman there. The expert. Experts, much like the first two prosecutors you met in the game, have different proper have properties that don't actually attack you directly, but instead boost the efficiency of others. This expert, for instance, Increases damage. Him increases the damage of all evidence by plus five. So, quicker we get rid of that evidence, quicker we get rid of the <laughs> expert. So, what next? Let's get rid of Jack. Uh, scratch that. Let's try and get rid of Jack. Not gonna get him down before this turn, so mesmerize. Crowd control. Or damage control, I should say. And there we go. And we get our bonus because I completed it in time. And there we go. I'll just end this off with me getting some decadence. Sure. How fitting that we end off with me being able to have the power to use objection. Ah. Phoenix Wright ends up starting the game with the ability to object. Max McMahon needs to complete five cases before he can. Go figure. Now, yeah, well, see you next time, everyone.